Hello everybody, it's me, your friendly neighborhood capitalist, and I'm hitting you all with a little end of the year update. And how coincidental that around the time the end of the year comes around, I reach 400 subscribers. Well, I'm at 406 now at the time of recording this, and over 200,000 video views, so hey, I guess that's good. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, I won't be doing a special little celebration for reaching 400 subs, uh, merely because like I'm just now getting around to doing the little uh, thing for 300 subs, Yanya Kabbalista City Skater, and I still have yet to do the 200 subs celebration thingy. But I plan to get around to that as soon as possible in 2015. Yeah, pretty much I'm just going to go over some things I've been planning for the channel, uh, what's going to change for the year, and like a little retrospect of uh, this year. And I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible because I tend to get rambly in these updates and they tend to go longer than they need to. So first things first, I'm going to give some quick updates on all 800 current projects I'm doing at the moment. Uh, but yeah, Yanya Kabbalista, I have not forgotten about that, it's just... The game got really hard and then I got sick and I didn't really get time to record more of it. But for the most part, Yanya's, well, I, I can't say it's almost done, but if I get on track with uh, recording and editing the videos, I probably could finish it up this week. It's not that long of a game. Plus I heard that level four, the level that I'm currently stuck on, is actually one of the harder levels in the game. So if I should beat that, it should be smooth sailing from here on out. And then there's Ocarina of Time Master Quest, which is winding down. So yeah, I hope to have the side quest slash minigame video up by this weekend. And then after that, it'll just be uh, the end game. But with the way things are going with that, I'd say first, if not second week of January, Ocarina of Time should be done. And that leads me into the next thing where um, I don't know which branch of the timeline I'm going to do next. So I guess I'll just have like a little poll. I, I don't know if I'm gonna do a straw poll or if I'll just do something in the comments like thumbs up this for this branch of the timeline or thumbs up this. But yeah, for those of you that don't know, the Zelda timeline splits into three after Ocarina of Time. With one of the timelines starting with Link to the Past, uh, the second starting with Majora's Mask, and the third starting with Wind Waker. So I, I don't know, I guess I'll just do a poll of such and whatever you all want to see after Ocarina of Time is what I will do. Otherwise, if nobody responds to the poll, which I'm you know, thinking might be the case because I am very pessimistic and have no self-esteem whatsoever. I'll probably just end up doing the things like in the order that the timelines are listed in the official timeline. As for the other two elephants in the room, Ascetic Mario and Pokemon Crystal <laughs> Nuzlocke, uh, Ascetic Mario is, well, I hope to start wrapping that up fairly soon. Uh, my plan is to have two more parts of that up this week. We'll see how that goes. And then after that, I guess it'll just be relegated to weekend uploads, which is what I should have been doing ever since I started it. I mean, it's only gonna be like eight, possibly nine videos. I, I really should just get around to doing more of this, but I'm lazy when it comes to difficult things. And Ascetic Mario is rather difficult. As for Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke, I, I admit I have been slacking off really bad with that. And like, I wasn't getting bored with it because I really want to do that and I have fun doing Nuzlocke runs. It's the fact that my team sucks right now and I don't want to have to deal with that. But yeah, Nuzlocke will return soon, more than likely updating every Sunday and it's going to be steamlined to hell. So yeah, that's pretty much it for all the current things on my channel. Uh, there, There is still Hell and Cave Story that I have to complete, and I, I, 
I've, I've just been off and on trying to get through that level as normal and it is hard people it is very hard but I'm feeling more and more uh, confident in myself with each time I attempt it so hopefully I will have that done really really soon so with that out the way onward to my future plans like things I want to do for the channel in 2015 and this will sort of tie in with the little like 2014 retrospective. So one of the things I noticed this year was that quite a bit of the time I tended to have a lot of things going on at the same time. If you couldn't tell from the current stuff portion of this update. So going forward in 2015, I'm going to try to have less things going on at the same time. And I know I always say this, but I'm really going to try to stick to it in 2015. You know, quality over quantity and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, another thing that I'm going to try and do in 2015 that I said I was going to do in 2013 and in 2014, and I was well on my way to doing it in 2014 until tuition came up and said like, oh yeah, no, screw your plans, you need to pay me. But yeah, I'm going to try and start streaming. But in order to do that, I'm going to need a better computer and a better internet connection. I mean, I guess my current internet connection is good enough, but yeah, I'd still rather it be better. I mean, besides, I'm tired of, you know, it taking me forever and a day to upload videos on my home connection. But yeah, I've just been meaning to upgrade my computer for so long, and I'm really going to try to get around to doing it this year. I just need to do better with managing my money but it seems like a task I can really accomplish and I hope to have a new computer at least by the middle of summer but we'll see what happens with that also another thing that tied into my money situation from this year was reviews and I'm gonna try to bring them back in 2015 but they're going to be scarce for a while because I'm not sure I'm going to be buying too many brand new games in early 2015 because of tuition and saving up for the new computer. And yeah, reviews don't have to be restricted to brand new things. I mean, I guess I could just, you know, look at old games and say like, you know what, I want to review this, but yeah, for the most part, reviews are going to be scarce for a while. But, I mean, they were already scarce in 2014, but, eh, whatever. And then another thing that I'm thinking about possibly doing for 2015 is a series of, like, one-shot videos that showcase indie games, whether they be on Steam or home consoles. So, yeah, it'll just be, like, maybe one... Uh, 10 to 20 minute if not 30 minute video just you know exploring a random indie game and giving like a little first impressions of it and saying like whether it's worth your time or not so yeah I really haven't worked out everything with that but it's something that I'm kind of interested in but all in all that's pretty much it I just want to thank you guys for a really good year and you know, helping me reach 400 subscribers. It's not a lot, but hey, I'm not complaining. That just means there's 406 people out there that like me enough to click that button to stick around. It's it's really humbling. But yeah, 2014 was a good year in general. I met some really cool people and my channel grew and I'm overall, I'm just really happy with how the year went. I just need to do better with organization and planning going forward and I really hope to do better with that next year and I just really appreciate all of you guys like seriously I words cannot describe how thankful I am and that's why I and that's why it usually takes me so long to respond to positive comments it's like oh my god I, I don't know how to respond to this this is so awkward I, I want to say something but I but I'm leaving them hanging for so long, and yeah, I'm, I'm just so self-conscious and socially awkward. It's ridiculous. But I'm getting better with that. I am getting better with that. Yes. 
Okay, this is going like downhill so fast. Oh, and uh, also last order of business, uh, YouTube finally made it so that channel owners can have tip jars on their channels. Yeah. But yeah, just throwing that out there because I'm not going to pour myself out and beg for donations and stuff because I have seen some people who just got the tip jar literally beg people to donate. But yeah, I'm, I'm just throwing that out there. If you want to donate, fine. If you don't, that's fine too. Like any donation I get will go directly into the savings I have set aside strictly for the channel. And like those savings will go towards anything like a new microphone, a better capture card, uh, a better computer for streaming, like I said, etc, etc. But yeah, donations, they're really appreciated, but they're not required. I mean, you don't have to do anything. I'm still going to be doing videos, whether people donate or not. I'm just throwing that, you know, option out there. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Uh, if, I for, uh, if I remember anything I forgot to say, I'll have it in the description. And be sure to check the recommended channels section on my channel for other cool uh, YouTube gamers that you guys really should check out. Like, some of them are people I just met this year, and like, they're really cool, and other people are people that sort of inspire me to do what I'm doing now, so, yeah, just, just give them all a look-see. You know, they're, they're all good peoples. So, yep, that's it. Thank you all for a really great year, and here's hoping 2015 will be great, too. Thanks again, and see you all later.